Welcome back to SA Live. We'll celebrate Cinco de Mayo this year by supporting artisans from Mexico and, of course, support a local business at the same time. Maria Jose Curry, with the owner of Dalma Imports, is here with these beautiful handmade textiles and art from Mexico. So good to see you as always. Mm -hmm. I know. Thanks for having me again. Yes. Okay. Uh, so now, we want to start with mm -hmm. the question off the top mm -hmm. because yes. some of this is authentic and some is not. Right. Yes. And it is important because authenticity does matter, especially when you're talking about the work that artisans make. Mm -hmm. So you do want to support the artisans versus, I don't know, a company in China. Okay. So just by picking it up, I can tell <laughs> which is which right now, but you can also tell, and I don't know if you can see it too well on camera yeah. there, but the, the colors are so much more vivid, vivid. and um, here, just listen. Or. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. The quality is so, obvious. So, so that one, it feels heavier too, probably. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's just a kind of a, yeah. a dead giveaway uh -huh. as far as that. And even some of the, the paper goods. Right, with, which papel picado, I mean, you see it everywhere. And celebrating mm -hmm. any kind of Mexican fiesta, and it's been around since the Aztecs. Mm -hmm. So very traditional. And then you have a fake version of papel picado, um, very marketed towards, you know, fast, easy, you can pick it up at a grocery store. Um, and then, of course, the table runner, which mm -hmm. you have the authentic one underneath the authentic plate. And then the other version, which is um, a very plagiarized copy of the same design. So this one? No, the paper one. Oh, the paper one. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. Right. So that is a very sad attempt at the same Tenango design. <laughs> I mean, okay. So, right. so kind of easy to tell with that. Absolutely. Yeah. That okay. one is obvious. And you can also tell, as you uh, have mentioned in the past. Right, with, with textiles themselves. Because we do have some fake fabric ones, mm -hmm. which you can find lots of places. And the back is where you can tell with those. You have that white backing, and usually the, the fabric has a sort of a sheen to it. And machine embroidery is just way too perfect. Hand embroidery, it's imperfectly perfect. And the other thing about all these, these different textiles, too, they come from different regions, and that tells the story, right? Yes. And this has been passed down generation after generation. Absolutely. Yeah, there's so many. Like the, the salt Saltillo Serape right there at the mm -hmm. corner. The Serapes are from the state of Saltillo, and that is also one of the most plagiarized fabrics from Mexico. So oh, you yeah. have you this one everywhere. is very plagiarized, the Tenangos, which are very popular. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see them in print, you see them on plates, you see them everywhere. And then the Serape, like that has been absolutely mass produced. Now, we also have these beautiful, well, first of all, the masks. That's yes. one type of, of yes. artwork, Yes, right? those are traditional, and they're, um, it's cartoneria is what they call it, and so it is a cardboard paper mache mix. Um, and then we have this modern example of cartoneria with the earrings, and that is from a local brand called Cultura Campaign. So this is an example of a Mexican-American leaning into her roots and using traditional styles, but modernizing this, this whole style. Okay. And these right here are mm -hmm. what? Those are tin hearts, and so this tin is cut, hand cut, and then hammered. So it's you can make it into any designs, and um, you know they've they've made some large pieces, but these are some little pieces that I picked up, and this is also a way of modernizing Mexican designs and traditional culture, and just like really intricate art that they work with their hands. Great little decoration. I mean, you could some are made into earrings, such yes. as what you have like on mine. as yeah. well, which is absolutely gorgeous. That would I said that'd be great pop a hole in there, put a chain around, that'd be a beautiful necklace Absolutely, decoration. yes, those are gorgeous. So yes, just like that, I know everybody here is probably familiar with the alebrijes, which were popularized by the movie Coco. We have alebrije earrings as well, which are a nice little, very delicate Please. carving. Yes, those are all and alebrijes. those are actually carving? Those are carved out of wood and then painted. You're kidding. No, there's so much work that goes into all of these. And the little hummingbirds, even their their beak is carved out of wood. So the details are stunning. Um, and the, again, it's the modernization. It's um, everyday people being able to grab a piece of their culture and mm -hmm. take it with them. How can people uh, find your things? I'm at delalmaimports.com. You mm -hmm. can find me on Instagram at Vivir del Alma. Okay, right. and again, everything is authentic and it is so gorgeous. Thank you so very much. Thank you for having me. All right, for more information on De Alma Imports, just head to our website, salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen.